some of the key things we always do are ensuring we know what's downrange. You know, we've got our range set up here with brush piles behind it. We're kind of shooting off into a, an area of brush. We know there's nothing in the way right there as well behind it should we miss the, the brush pile. Secondly, we always, always make sure we've got good hearing protection uh, on any time we're down on the range because the, you know, the increased muzzle blast of all these firearms is definitely going to pay an impact uh, long term in your hearing. How many people do you know that are 50, 60, 70 years old right now in your family? You'd think their favorite word was, huh? Well, they spent a lot of times hunting and shooting when they were younger, back in those years where hearing protection wasn't even a thought. Uh, other things you definitely want to pay attention to, eye protection, you know, making sure you've got a good pair of, of shooting glasses for in case something goes wrong to protect your eyes. Uh, even in those situations where things don't go wrong, you just always want to have good uh, eye protection. I like uh, yellow lens a lot of times when I'm down on the, the range early and late, really makes things brighter. So some of those simple tricks right there will really pay off when it comes time to making sure that everybody goes home, everybody's safe, you don't lose your hearing, you don't risk injury to your body, your ears, and then nothing happens downrange.